think why or imagine why people think spouse drop from the sky like spouse either male or female like the person doesn't have a root we need to think about this together guys because to be honest i'm confused <laughs> Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's <laughs> welcome to Queen Lizzie World. On this channel, guys, we do all thing faith, we do all thing relationship, food. And different air times. Like, come on, we just do everything. Like, on here, in here, we are loaded. Like, guys, we are loaded with complete package. <laughs> so, I'm so happy to be back here again with another interesting topic, as usual, you know. Yeah. So, I'm super excited because, you know, whenever I'm bringing any topic for you guys, you know, I just, I'm just like, ah. Let's drop this one. Let's drop this one. And the reason I'm doing um, this particular video is because I've heard so many girls, you know, even so many, even male, female, you know, say something and it's just surprised me a lot. Why someone will think like that? So, which is why, uh, which is why I'm going to be talking about this topic. So, if you're a new subscriber, thanks. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Thank you. And if you are here still watching me right now and you are not subscribed, please just press that button. Yeah, I press it. Come on, come on. I did it. One, two, three. Good. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And if you're a returning subscriber, you are amazing as usual. You know I have love for all of you, right? <laughs> so thank you for always coming back. So today we have one topic. One topic that we need to talk about. You know, I hear so many, if you're not female, I hear like, uh, that say something like, oh, when I get married, it's just going to be me and my husband, uh, his family is secondary, it, what, I don't care what they think about me, you know, all I want to care, all I care about is just, as long as my husband loves me, that's all I care. No, that's a very big mistake, and I don't see that. I beg you, if you have that kind of mindset and you are not married, please change it. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know, one thing I have realized about life growing is what we think in our mind, you know, what we think in our mind end up being our action. What we think in our mind end up being what we are most likely to do. Now, so many times we think something, the devil doesn't know what we think in our mind. He doesn't even have an idea what we have in our mind. But whatever you have in your mind, for at some point, you might end up talking to a second person about it. I'm going to give an example. Say a young girl has a friend and think about the kind of mindset that when I, I don't care about how my husband family takes me, I don't give a damn. All I care about is as long as he loves me, that settles it. If you are in that category, that you have already, you've already, you're already boxed up with that kind of mindset. Now, if you have a friend, now, devil doesn't know what you are thinking in your mind because you've not said it out. Now, if you talk to your friend about it and like, oh, my friend, you know what? I don't care what my what my in-law does. I don't care what they have. I don't care what they what they want to do. All I know is that I don't I don't care. I know I, all I want to do is my myself and my husband. And at the moment to say it out, devil hold on to that word for you, and devil function on that word. He function on it. So many people that are married would have had a very very good relationship with their husband family if they have started well like they have started on a good note but it's so unfortunate that so many people before they even get into that into that marriage they already say 
If they bring left leg, I will give them right leg. If they bring left hand, I'll bring right. Because you have already had that in your mind. You have you've already thought about it. You've already said it out to somebody at some point. Devil is going to work on what you've already said. Even sometimes, even when somebody say when one of them even say a word to you that is not even that is not even like a big deal, but because of what you already have in your mind, the way you already boxed up in your mind, like yes, I am going into this place with a full force. I don't I don't care what they do to me, I don't care what they what they say to me, I'm gonna give it to them back to back. They, because you have anything about it, you already said it out at some point. No matter what they do, no matter how little it is, even they might be teasing or just joking, you will take it personal. You know why? Because you have any, already like said some things to yourself. So, which is the reason why you have to be careful of what you think about. And if anybody is telling you that you are only getting married to that man, that is a lie. Yes, that is a lie. You are not just getting to your to your husband. You have to have a relationship, a good relationship with your husband and family. Try to. Now, I understand. Some people might say, oh, my husband family, they are this, they are that, they are this, they are that. It was, uh, okay, now, now, based on what I've seen, like I have seen from other people, especially people that are married is, because of the kind of mindset they've had, the good mindset. I'm just gonna be a good wife. I'm gonna be a good person. I'm gonna be a role model to everybody around me. I don't care if you're my husband, family, my cousins, my niece, my nephew, my anyone around me. I want to be someone that everyone can look up to as an individual, regardless of if where you are from. For my side, my husband's side, if that is the kind of mindset you have already, you know, said to yourself. Guess what? You are already flying because. Even when someone do something to you that is not even right, you will take it personal. You will laugh over it like, <laughs> did you just say that to me? Did you just... Why? Because in your mind, that person is joking. But if the mindset of art is, I'm just going to, if you give me A, I'm going to give you, if you give me one, I'm going to give you 10. If that is what you already had in your mind, whatever they do to you, whatever anybody do to you, you will take it personal. Even when they don't even mean it, you will take it personal. Yes, that is a, that is, is a simple truth. You know, if some if so many women I've seen, uh, I, I met a lady that you know she's having like little issues with her other family, like they are really digging it, like like it was not even like it's a thing that they don't visit themselves, they are they really kept their distance and stuff like that. And this lady, you know, I met with her and I really had like honest, honest talk with her. Like, let's just be, let's just be realistic. How did you even start this marriage? And she was honest. She said yes. That the thing is, there was there were times that when she just got married to her husband, that there's things that was done that she could have overlooked and just not say anything or smile over. She said if she has done those things, that her marriage with her, a relationship with her husband family would have been on point. But because she's because see, eh, because of the mental mindset, I don't know why. Honestly, there are so many things going on around us. People advising people, uh, people even saying some things about oh, um, uh, mother-in-law. Some people, some guys even say they don't want their mother, their, their husband to have a mother. Seriously, and if you are a woman and you are saying that, <laughs> and you are going to be a mother, if you are not married, you are going to be a mother someday. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I'm not saying anything, no. <laughs> like I believe so much in spoken word. Like, okay, now an example is this: I have a son. Now, imagine a girl saying that about me. Ah, uh, no, now it's not going to happen to me in Jesus' name. <laughs> because how can a young girl even say that? If you have that kind of mindset, I beg you, never go go on your knees. And ask God for forgiveness. I'm telling you, if you have ever had that thing in mind, I've seen so many young women that say it that are not married and they don't want their husband family to have their, their husband to have more than all because I, I don't I don't want to have that. Seriously, if you have ever thought about that, ah, you need God forgiveness. So that God can have mercy on you and remove whatever thing that you have placed on yourself by yourself. Yes, you need to go on your news. On your knees, 
God has to forgive you. Yes, you have to. Don't act, don't think like that. Because someday you're also going to be in that shoe of that of that woman someday. And what kind of prayer do you want that person? Do, I, do you want to be that woman? And that you know that people want to look up to and say, Oh, I wish to have, I wish to be like this kind of mommy, I wish to be like this kind of grandma, or I wish to be like what kind of a mother do you want to be? Regardless of what I'm not saying that, and I'm just supposed to say, Oh, I didn't even understand what she was saying, and ah, the kind of you know that I have, and they are tough, and they are this, they are that, they are this. They, they, in your own case, you might have to seek help, like you might have to talk to somebody, you know, and so I watch who you talk to about the situation so that they don't just add more stuff for you and tell you that I am going to give it to you, give it to them back. No, you need to talk to somebody that can advise you right. But my opinion is if you are a young girl, I'm talking to you, if you are a young girl. And you have that thing in your mind, please stop it. Even, even, do you know that I watched a movie, a Mount Zion movie? You know, I'll try to put that uh, movie here. You can go and watch. I think it's my mother in law. I need to go and watch that movie. A young girl, she already had it in mind. And guess what? At the end of the day, she, she regrets making that kind of a decision of saying she's going to that marriage and she's just gonna be showing them, she's gonna be showing them her true color, she's gonna be showing them. I'm, I'm, I'm don't, I don't care. And guess what, guys? What she wanted was what she gets. But if she was, if she was, and there was another one that was really good, she she had a tough mother in law, and she said, regardless of what she does to me, I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna do. She was optimistic, she was positive. Her attitude changed that woman. Her attitude changed that woman that in law that is not good. Because she at some point she was like, ah, this guy I don't like. This girl that I that, that she do, she this, she's that. She ends up loving the girl. She loves the girl. She does not takes her as her own daughter. So I beg you guys to think about it, okay? Please don't have that kind of mindset. Have a positive mindset about your in-law. Have a good relationship with them. Try to create a good relationship with them. So I that brings me to the end of today's topic. I don't know if you agree with me or disagree with me, but I know that it's good to have a good relationship with you. And you are not only getting married to that man, you are getting married to this family. Yes, you are getting married to his family. Yes. <laughs> Love everyone, not only we eat too, and not even only the, the family, everyone around you should be should be we should be role model. We should love people should look up to us and say, I wish you'd be like this auntie, I, I wish you'd be like this sister, you know. So thank you all for tuning in today. I really do appreciate you guys. God bless you, and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to always come back. Thank you guys. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Eyes in the sky, gazing for